Hello, my name is Maria from MathMammoth.com and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this lesson we are studying the order of operations. And I wrote that here on the board. We have first of all anything within parentheses that's to be solved first. And then next, any multiplications and divisions, they are to be done from left to right. You'll see examples of that later. Just remember that multiplication and division are on the same level, so to speak. And then lastly, after those, additions and subtractions, they are on the same level, once again, and they are done from left to right. And um, let's see an example. Over here we have two subtractions and one addition. Now I just told you that additions and subtractions are on the same level. They are to be done from left to right. So we start here and we do the subtraction first. This one says add and subtract, but it does not mean additions before subtractions, okay? It means we do them from left to right. And you know, order of operations is kind of a fun topic because you get to draw bubbles or clouds, whatever you want to call them. You can enclose your first operation you're going to do in a bubble, like that. 50 minus 12 would be 38. Let's put it here. And then 38, we go do this subtraction. 38 minus 8, 30, plus 2 equals 32. Now on this one, can you tell me which operation is to be done first? There's a subtraction, subtraction and a multiplication. There's parentheses. Yeah, that's what we do first. Let me draw my bubble here again. 3 minus 2 equals 1. And then, which operation? Now we go to multiplication, yes. 4 times 1 equals 4, minus 2 equals 2. So that was an easy problem, right? Next we are going to look at these two problems. And they're the same, right? But let me explain. Now let's just solve this as it is written. There's an addition and multiplication. So you do first the multiplication, right? 2 times 5 equals 10. And then 6 plus 10 equals 16. But what if you don't want to do the multiplication first? What if you want to do the addition first for whatever reason? If you want to do the addition first, you want to override the normal order of operations and you do that with the parentheses. Now I have changed it so that the addition is to be done first. 6 plus 2 equals 8 and 8 times 5 equals 40. Next one over here, what do we do first? What's that Matthew? Oh, he's excited. Oh, he wants to do the bubble, okay. Alright, I'll let him. Oh, you're erasing my numbers, Matthew. But he got it right. Yes, division first. We get 4 here. And then 2 subtractions, so we go from left to right. 40 minus 4 is 36. Minus 11, 25. Now you can think about this problem also. If you write it down as it was before this bubble here, what if you wanted to do the subtraction first? Or what if you wanted to do this subtraction first? What would you do to it? Think about it. That's your homework problem. Now over here we have lots of problems. There's division, addition, multiplication and subtraction. All four basic operations to do. Which one first? Matthew can come, yeah. Matthew found it. It's the parentheses. And we have three here. And then what's next? Division, addition, multiplication. Now the addition is to be done last. So we have division and multiplication to do, and they are on the same level. So we would do them from left to right. So this one next. This is six. Okay, then the multiplication. Three times three. Let's try. Does it look messy? This is 9. And lastly, addition, 6 plus 9. So here we go. 